what's up there YouTube, it's Simplest. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my first video I talked about how to grow on Instagram. If you didn't catch it, there's going to be a link to that video in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. You know, if, if Instagram is something that you're looking to expand and grow an audience on, I would recommend watching that video. So this game is a deatomizer. Um, I ended up going 42, 43 and two and it was just a lot of fun before the game started i looked at the other team i saw that they were really really low levels and i had to scroll up and down through the list just to look at the kds because you know that's what everyone's doing these days and no one had above one kd when i see that the red flag goes right up and i'm like all right it's nuke time so there are occasions on this in this game where I'm just sitting around. You'll see me hold a position for a while. You'll see me run around doing nothing. But I'm just trying to secure my position, which is the first step in the secret to getting the atomizers. So right there you saw me do some crazy ridiculous jump shot on that guy in the middle of the map per se. And I kind of back myself up to this part of the map because this is where you can see on the mini map my teammates are staying around and also the enemy team is trying to force push force and push their way th through so they know we're here they know they think they know where we are but they really don't and I kind of just use this tire as kind of like a lookout I use this area in the middle the map as a lookout as well and I'm using my headset to hear all the people moving around the map while looking at the radar. So the key to getting the atomizer is being aware of what's going on around you in the game, not moving around too much, not using the sprint button too much, but kind of just feeling the game out, being as patient as possible. It doesn't matter how you finish, or it doesn't matter how you start the game. It just matters how you finish it and that you get the deatomizer, you know, because that's, you know, that's what you're going for. So next on my list for things that I wanted to add, score streaks. These are probably the most important. If you're playing solo, it's important. If you're playing with a team, maybe not so much because, you know, hopefully you have some guy running these score streaks. But I find that the best score streaks to run personally when going for deatomizers is just the simple support score streaks of... UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV. That way, you know where the enemy team is at all times, and when you have a counter up, the enemy team has no idea where you are. But, in this game, I decided to use the Warden, which is the first time in a while where I've used the lethal score streak, probably in about five, six prestiges. Um, generally, I've been running counter UAV, but I feel like it's time to change it up, so Warden was the choice for this game, and honestly, it was putting in work. Um, you'll see it dominate the feet a few times on its own. Um, so yeah, score streaks are important, especially if you're playing solo. Um, rig and payloads, those don't really matter, as long as you're using something that you're comfortable with and that you know how to use to your advantage. and. And, and gun battles then you know you're all set enemy team you need to be able to identify and pay attention to when the enemy team is just just overcrowding you overbearing you with um the amount of people that they have coming at you you see previously in the gameplay where i just kind of go to the door and I didn't see the guy coming out on my right. If, if you go back and rewind, you'll see this. But I won't see the guy, but he'll start shooting. And I realize that, oh shit, their team is their team is starting to spawn back there. I need to really get out and find my, my home that I've made over here by the tire. Um, teammates. Pay attention to what your teammates are doing. Especially if, if you're playing solo. Um, this lobby was perfect. These guys... Might have been really bad, I didn't really look at their scores at the end of this game, but regardless, if they were bad or not, they didn't move around a lot, which made the other team just run at us, and this game was like, this game was like a guaranteed de-atomizer. I just had to 
be smart, not play like a maniac, and uh, take everything with caution. Patience, the most important thing. You'll look down at the time, it's around four minutes. This, this is about, I want to say this is an eight minute, six minute the atomizer so a team deathmatch game lasts I think it has a limit time limit of 10 minutes and it, it doesn't matter I realize that if I just if I'm just patient and I take advantage of the opportunities that I have to kill people like right here is a perfect example I have an advanced UAV up but I can't find the calm the calmness to to jump up here and get the kills that I need to get to get the deatomizer, which turns into the enemy team calling it a counter UAV somehow, and this is where a lot of people tend to struggle because they don't have the radar. I have no idea where my teammates are, so at this point I just have to use my headset and my eyes and be aware of my surroundings don't move too much I, I think I yeah I end up sitting in a corner because you know what the heck I'm away from my team that means that's the other thing if you ever lose your team if you're just completely nowhere near your teammates there is a very good chance that the other team is spawning next to you around you or they are on the verge of approaching your location so, as you get close to your deatomizer, you're two, three, maybe even one kill away, you need to be calm. And you need to hit your shot as if it was your first shot. There you have it. That's my guide to getting a deatomizer. Um, you're going to have to watch this video a few times to really understand and take in what I'm saying. Um, here at the end, I'm just being stupid. I don't know how I died that quickly, but whatever. Um, the atomizers are awesome. Go get yourself one. I end up showing my stats at the end of this game, as you can see, is at 43 and 2, 21.5 KD with three assists. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty sweet game. I show a little bit of my stats. I'm not trying to show off. But here are the medals. You saw the KD. You can rewind and look at the KD. All the other stats. My previous five. That was a fun game of Call of Duty. I'll see you guys in the next video.